I have faced several challenges and also many times I have won kudos. Uh, once um, uh, a young fellow could be um, a lecturer or an assistant professor in the UP University, I think. He came with his bag and baggage, shabby, I mean, that must have traveled in a third class coach overnight. And they came with all that to my room. So he was stunned. I asked to uh, me, you know, the purpose. So I came to thank you. I said, what for? I said, I wrote a paper, but you made it publishable, and I came here to thank you. He said, all. He said, you know, I have some other work, but I thought before I go to any other work, I must come and thank you, he said. So, I mean, I felt so happy that day. Then there are challenges. Sometimes um, uh, you reject papers uh, for the right reasons. But for the author, uh, it's like for every one, his or her child is so beautiful. So, uh, even for a crow, we say, <laughs> I mean, the baby crow is the most beautiful bird in the world. <laughs> so he thinks his paper was the best in the world, but the editor and the referees thought otherwise. So we decided to reject it. And now he comes to me, fights with me. I said, no, this decision stands. I cannot accept. Then he uh, writes a letter to the director general and things like that. I mean, uh, authority. I mean, he doesn't understand. Such kind of authority does not white, uh, does not uh, uh, win uh, in an editor's decision. The editor's decision is purely based on certain criteria of acceptability of that paper. So it is not about discipline, it's not about salary, it's not about you know some official reasons. He didn't understand. He wrote to, and then they, they said the editor's decision is final. Which are the journals you uh, edited, I, okay. Professor? Uh, I, I, most of my career I was the editor of Indian Journal of Technology, which is not a great journal because the research that appeared in the journal came from Indian engineering community. And they were not doing as well as the physics and chemistry community in India. And uh, uh, they were tops, really. Uh, because they were funded well and there, uh, there was a tradition of chemistry research and physics research. For example, in chemistry, the natural products chemistry, uh, Rovolfia Serpentina, which is Serpaganda, is good for heart, for example. That Indian sages knew. So the Indian researchers took the built plant on that, built on and that. analyzed that plant, the chemicals, and found out its structure yeah. and its reaction with the rest of the body, all that. So they were doing extremely well, I should say. I can name some people. There was one Venkatraman, um, is an uncle of Ramachandra Guha. I see. Was heading National Chemical Laboratory in Pune. Uh, he lived like a, a British gent. He come to the dining table with a coat and tie. I see. Uh, of that kind. He be, we believe that the laboratory should be run like a British laboratory, and unfortunately. Other, be, other people being natives. <laughs> he found it difficult. Uh, he was good. Then there was one Govinda Chari um, who had the Seba laboratory in India, in Bombay. He was a great name in Terpins. After he retired, uh, he, he was earlier uh, another department of organic chemistry, uh, chemistry in Presidency College and then he became principal. After retirement, he went to Seba. Then he came back to speak research center in Madras and so on. He was a great name. So, people of that kind. This was in the 70s or 80s? I should think about him. I find I am not able to okay. tell you. Um, um, well, there was, no, I am saying your stint in these journals. In, oh, in this oh, journals. Uh, I retired from CSIR in 96 from Karakudi. Yeah. 92 I took away from Okay. Uh, the editing of journals. So from 65 to 92, it was mostly editing. Wow. That's a long stint. Yeah. But my best experience was in starting a journal. Which one? Yes. That's called Pramana. Okay. It's a Sanskrit name. Okay. Uh, but actually, the journal is about physics. I see. So it was my idea. I see. So uh, I was a PhD student at the institute. I was asked to do the experiments in NAL, National Aeronautical Laboratory at that time. Now it is National Aerospace Laboratory. 
the name changed later. There was a most outstanding uh, experimentalist by the name S. R. Rajagopalan, who is still around. He must be close to 93, 94. I see. And um, he is now in Bangalore with his wife. Both of them were scientists at NL, and uh, his experimental skills are phenomenal. So my professor chose a problem for me, which is a bit tough. Uh, uses optics and electrochemical principles to study reactions taking place at an electrode when the electrolyte uh, is connected to uh, a source, a battery source. Okay, so I used a laser beam uh, uh, shining it on the cathode when the reaction was taking place, and then the uh, the, the electrode, the, uh, the beam which I shine, uh, a particular wavelength of a particular phase. Uh, when it passes through the liquid and strikes the electrode, the reaction taking place in the electrode alters its phase and probably wavelength. And then I have to study the beam that comes out, reflected beam. Mm -hmm. This is called reflectance spectroscopy. I see. In a liquid, not straight like this yeah. in the air okay, or vacuum. So it's a very complicated experiment. Uh, the, there should not anything should not shake. The light beam should be uh, of the same wavelength throughout, so there should not be any power fluctuation. Suddenly, if somebody starts a motor or a huge equipment in a nail, my experiment goes heavy. So I have to do it in the night and so on. So anyway, I went there. He helped me. So during that time, because things were not going well in my experiments. And I had to go back in three and a half years to my New Delhi office. I took leave yeah. to do PhD, loss of pay. I said, don't mind. So uh, from a salaried employee, I came as an unemployed person, oh. uh, doing, thinking that I would be able to do a fantastic PhD in IAAC. So at the time, uh, the person who was in charge of the academy after the sudden death of C.V. Raman, I see. Um, he was after me because he was heading the materials lab where this person was working. So he used to see me during tea breaks and lunch breaks. And uh, he thought I was the right person for him. I see. So he asked me, would you mind joining the academy and uh, helping us with journals? Then I told him his proceedings of the Indian Academy of Sciences is a stupid idea. Times have changed. And we have to have specialist journals for different areas. After some time, he agreed. Uh, we have to consult a lot of pieces. If we break away from the proceedings and start a new journal, yeah. would you like it and would you contribute and so on? And uh, most people said yes. And uh, then we started the journal. Um, uh, this was physics. Physics. This for physics. Yeah. But unfortunately, into calling it. Yes, Raman General of Physics, or Indian Academy General of Physics, he put the name as Pramana. The Raman comes, and P and A comes in the end. Okay. Pramana means some standard or something yeah. in Sanskrit. So he gave a name. So I was against it, but he said, no, 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 this is the right name. Okay. He, he, for him, the Raman comes in between P and A. That was important. Anyway, so he didn't catch up fast. In the meanwhile, I found that Dr. Garfield was coming to Bombay uh, for a meeting of Federation International Documentation, FID. So I said to my boss that uh, Garfield is a famous man. He is everything in general information. He publishes current contents. So our journal should be in current contents. We should invite Garfield, even otherwise. This is a great man, you are a great academy, founded by Raman. I said, okay, if you can, you please do, he said. Then I wrote to Garfield's office that can he change his travel itinerary to include yeah. three days in Bangalore. I succeeded. I see. So Garfield came, I went to the airport to receive him, he came with his wife. Unfortunately, on that day, the Kannada Chalwoligas oh. were Strike. 
I see. They did not allow any car to go from airport to town. And everywhere I have to get down and say, he's a foreign dignitary, uh, scientist. Uh, no, 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 no. He is coming to Raman Academy. Oh, Raman. Okay, okay. <laughs> they said. So he came. And he spent three days with us. Uh, I had a argument with him all the time that you are running current contents, it has this defect, it has this problem, and things like that. And then we became friends. I took him to Mysore and so on. Within six months of starting Pramana, uh, volume one, number one, appeared in current contents. I see. Many Indian journals. Current contents is a kind of a summary of. Uh... Uh, not a summary, it's a. It's a. Uh, okay. It's a. Uh, um, Abstract uh, or no? Not, uh, no, no okay. Listing. Uh, no, it, it's a listing. It's called. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what it yeah. is. Okay. Uh, it's a service. Within a week of publishing, or within two weeks, yeah. he will present the contents page uh -huh. and then the corresponding author with his initial address, etc. And a uh, link to the article in which page his name occurs. So, poor country people like India, yeah. we can use the address and the title and the print request we can make by airmail card. So in those days, we all made cards, cards. in our name, address, uh, dear so-and-so, would you kindly send this paper to us, which appeared in this general volume here, which we'll, we'll fill, printed cards. And we'll put airmail, some under airmail we'll write, and put it in the box. So the airmail letters never missed the target, it always went. If it's a packet, they will try to open and see if there is something, it's a postcard. So, he, in that service, we were included. That was one of my big successes at that time. And having come to know Garfield personally was even biggest success. Wow. And then he made me, because of the kind of intense questions I asked him, a member of the editorial board of current contents. Wow. That was the first editorial board I sat. You were on many international later, organizations. Later. Later. This, for this, this is sometime between 74 and 80. Very early. I met him in 75, January 1, something like that. He came to Bombay, from Bombay he came to FID Congress in Bombay. Okay. Um, he changed the itinerary when the academy name was there, Raman's name was there, he came there. And I made him work like a donkey. <laughs> I mean, three, four places I booked in my over-enthusiasm, same day talks, <laughs> I mean, didn't know is old and tired and you know and to give four talks technical talks on the same day is not humanly yeah. possible. I didn't know all that. I was very interested in India getting his wisdom. So Delhi Bengal University, NIL, Indian Academy, uh, IASC, all in one day. He was a tired man. He said, I don't know, you must be mad <laughs> asking me to talk in four places at the same time. Why can't all the fellows come to the whole place? <laughs> I said, no, no, this is, each is so many miles away, and uh, we have to go. And <laughs> finally, uh, booked already, yes, okay, we will go. So he came, uh, and he talked in all those places, and so on. So that Pramana was a great experience. Yeah. And I told Ram Session, the man who asked me to do that work, that we should leave out all those who are directors, or secretaries, and so on, however eminent they are, from the editorial board. They won't have one minute for your channel. This channel's editorial board is not for decoration. This is for bull work. Each editorial board member should actually contribute, physically doing something for us. Yeah. So they should referee papers, they should suggest referees, I and mean, they should be constantly available to me. Then I suggested a lot of teams who did not have the position of a director I see. or chairman and things like that. And I told him it would be representative of all the regions. So one accusation against the academy was yeah. it was parochial. It was mostly Tamils and Kannadigas and some Telugus. Okay. And uh, and mainly physics chemistry. I see. I mean that's not done. This is a science academy. Yeah. So all of us should be participants. So I suggested a lot of names to be included into the academy. I see. And 
we changed the rules from 10 Mac to 100 Mac for two years. MG came in and was the president. He agreed. So, big name, big name. And uh, instead of 100, we elected 85 and 85 for 74 and 75. 170 people. I see. Instead of 20, we elected 170. So 150 people were brought in extra in those two years. Who were the seven? Okay. In fact, many forms have to be filled in by six people. Nomination. I went round IASC and got few signatures from existing fellows to fill, make it six, where it is only yeah. four or five and so on. So that period was. Uh, very important in my in my uh, evolution as um, a science editor, science administrator. Amazing, whatever. interesting but story. The two years in the academy, um, I paid a very poor. Indian salary. Institute of Science. Indian Academy of Sciences. Indian Academy of Sciences. Good sciences. I did that. So nice.